What we have here is the Jack Flash Company unadjusted trial balance. We have assets, cash, accounts receivables, supplies, equipment. They have a debit balance. Accumulated depreciation is a contra asset account. It's going to have a credit balance. Accounts payable is a liability. Capital is the capital account, both having credit balances. The drawing account is going to have a debit balance. Revenue has a credit balance. And expense accounts are going to have debit balances. So what we're going to do is we're going to apply three adjusting entries to the accounts. And then we're going to show the effect of those adjusting entries on the trial balance, the adjusted trial balance to be specific. All right. Accrued revenues at the end of the month, $600. Accrued revenues is simply a fancy way of indicating that we need to bill our customers. We've done work for them, and now we need to invoice them, bill them, let them know that they owe us money. So what we've done is we're going to record the billing of the customers by debiting accounts receivable and crediting the revenue account. That is the journal entry that would be recorded. We're going to show the effect of that journal entry here. Accounts receivable is going to be debited for $600. Revenue credited for $600. Depreciation for the month, $30. Depreciation is recorded by debiting depreciation expense and crediting accumulated depreciation. Depreciation expense is going to be debited for 30 and accumulated depreciation credited for 30 Currently, right now, my journal entries here are balanced, 630 in the debit, 630 in the credit. Okay, supplies on hand at the end of the month, $20. When supplies are purchased, they're purchased as an asset. They have a debit balance. We started with $80 at the beginning of the month in supplies. We're being told that there's $20 of supplies left over. Supplies has a debit balance. To take away $60, i am going to credit this account for $60. And then we're going to come down here to supplies expense and we're going to debit supplies expense for 60. We started with 80. We used 60 and that left us with $20 in supplies. So to go ahead and fill out the adjusted trial balance, we're going to bring over the balances of the accounts that we didn't do any adjustments for. Cash has a debit balance of 300. Accounts receivable started off with 20. In the debit balance, we debited for $600. So now we have a $620 balance. Supplies had an $80 balance in the debit column. We credited for $60. So this leaves us $20 in the supplies account, as indicated here with the adjusting entry. We had $20 of supplies left on hand at the end of the month. Equipment had a debit balance of 600. We did not adjust this account, so we're going to bring over the debit balance of 600. Accumulated depreciation had a $30 credit balance. We credited this account for 30, so now the new credit balance is 60. Accounts payable was not adjusted, so we're going to bring that balance of 240 over to the credit column. Capital was not adjusted, so we're going to bring that balance over. We did not have anything for the drawing account. We'll just leave it blank. Revenue started with an $800 credit balance. We credited for $600. So now revenue has a $1,400 balance in the credit column. Wages expense was not adjusted. So we're going to bring over the debit of 150. Supplies expense started off with zero. We debited this account for 60. 
and since supplies, expenses, and expense account, and it has a debit balance, we now have a updated balance of 60. Depreciation expense, again, is an expense account. It did not have a previous balance before we did the adjustment. So now we have a $30 debit balance in this account. A miscellaneous expense was not adjusted, so we're going to bring this over. Now we're going to add the debit column, we're going to write a total, and we're going to add the credit column and write a total. And if we did our job correctly, this will all balance. And I determined I have debits of 18.20. And I have credits of 18.20. So I've done my job correctly here. This is a demonstration in how to take an unadjusted trial balance, write in your adjusting data, and go ahead and complete your adjusted trial balance.